Nothing like a night of bad Steven Seagal movies to put you in the mood for some uh, tutorials. Alright guys, so I'm going to go into a little more into black and whiting, and one of my favorite features in Lightroom 3, uh, especially with black and whiting, is the new grain effects. And So we're going to work through two images in this one. We'll do one of the same images in the last tutorial, as well as do one different one uh, as well as for this new tutorial. So let's jump right into that first image that we did in the last tutorial. Here we have our black and whited image. So if I go to my develop, I can see we're using the black and white snapshot. Um, now what I want to do basically is Lightroom 3 comes with some amazing grain effects that can really add a nice gritty kind of feeling to your images or just mimic the feel of film grain. And so with very journalistic images I like to take them and, and kind of add a little bit of grain to give them that kind of journalistic film feel. So what I'm going to do is zoom in on this so I can see the grain up close. I'm going to go down to my effects panel and go down to the grain. I'm just going to increase the grain uh, to kind of a point that I think is about right. I'm going to go to about 50. We'll play with the kind of size of the grain. I kind of like to uh, have somewhat coarse, but not too coarse of grain. I think around 25 to 30 is good. And just add a nice little film kind of touch to it. If we want, we can add a little more grain so it's a little more noticeable. And when I zoom out, we just have a really nice grain effect that you can kind of see over these areas, which when printed is going to have a really nice film feel. Let's go and do one other black and white image. Um, I'm going to save this snapshot as black and white plus grain. And let's go down to this image right here of the monk who's holding the prayer beads. So let's first convert this to a black and white by hitting V and we're going to go through our process that we did in the last tutorial. We'll do it kind of quick. So I want to first adjust the little exposure, get a little more contrast, more blacks. Alright, so 55 contrast, 17 blacks is about right. Next we're going to adjust the black and white mix from here. And just kind of, I want to kind of like deepen up the tones a little bit, just darken it up a little bit and get it a little more dramatic. So I'm just pulling down on certain areas that I kind of want to be darker. And I'm going to be careful because I want to leave the hands kind of a little bit brighter. So anything that darkens the hands, I'm going to kind of reverse. And let's see if we want to leave the hands just a little bit on the bright side. I think that's good about there. We can darken up the jacket just a little more, this little uh, robe that he's wearing. And that's great right there. I like that black and white mix a lot. I'm going to do the same thing to this one. You're going to see how it kind of just makes that, uh, it makes it just kind of pop out and give it that film feel. So I'm going to zoom in again and we're going to increase the amount of grain. And you can go like pretty heavy on an image like this because I want it to be very abstract and have a very strong film grain type feel. So I'm going to go up to about, let's see what 100 looks like. We'll go up to about 80. And then I'm just going to increase the size of the coarseness of it to about 40. And we'll zoom out, and I love that. I love the look of it. I'm going to pull in a vignette just to kind of darken it up and just have a very overall dramatic image. And then we'll create this as, okay, this is black and white plus grain. All right, guys, so that's how to use grain along with some of the black and white mix effects that we learned in the last tutorial to achieve a really dramatic kind of film look.